Thanks for joining us. A recent study shows the town of Henderson is relying heavily on ticket fines to keep the city afloat. The Sunlight Foundation, a nonprofit governmental watchdog group, conducted that survey. They found that for every dollar Henderson collects in taxes, the town collects $3.73 in fines and forfeitures. But many wondering if it's too much and if some tickets are only being given for that purpose. Our Travis Guillory spoke with the mayor who says that's not the case. Speeding tickets in Henderson, something that's not uncommon because the town sits along Interstate 10. But is it too common, making up the majority of Henderson's budget? I don't believe in speed traps. I don't consider we, we have a speed trap. Mayor Sherbin Collette says officers don't give tickets under 10 miles per hour over the speed limit. It's more like 12 and above. We give quite a few at naughty, naughty some. We give quite a few at over 100 miles an hour. According to the Sunlight Foundation, the city collects nearly four times more in traffic ticket revenue than it does in taxes. That's one of the largest gaps in the nation. The mayor says those numbers sound correct, but not all drivers think collecting that much in traffic fines is okay. Uh, I think that's a little ridiculous. I think it should be regulated. I, I think uh, if, if people are breaking the law, then go ahead and give them a ticket. The mayor says the city needs that money to survive, claiming the city doesn't have much of a tax base. So if that revenue with fines wasn't there, what would happen to the town of Henderson? We would have to slow down. We'd have to probably let some people go, in the police department especially. I'm not going to let this town bankrupt. In Henderson, Travis Guillory, KETC TV3. So what